Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about the Unix concepts which are required to write the Unix command in TCS Camera Proctored Assessment or Project Readiness Assessment. If you liked the video and found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Let's get started. These are the concepts which we are going to cover in this video. First, we'll see what is Unix, what is command, and what is AWK. Then we'll see about structure of AWK script. Then about pipe symbol, field separator, sort command, head command, and tail command. Coming to Unix. What is Unix? In very simple terms, Unix is an operating system like Windows. As we know, Windows is mainly focused on graphical user interface, but Unix mainly focuses on writing commands in the terminal. In addition to this, Unix also has basic graphical user interface similar to Windows. Next, what is commands? Commands are basically a set of keywords which instructs the computer to perform something and return result if any. Next, what is AWK? AWK is basically a scripting language. It is specially designed for text processing. Structure of AWK script. AWK script always begins with the keyword AWK and it has three sections begin, body, and end section. In begin section, we usually perform initialization tasks and the body section contains the actual logic. The end section is used to perform some final calculations, if any, and it is used to print the result. Pipe symbol. Using pipe symbol, we can pass the output of one command as an input to another command. For example, you can see here this command will first sort the given data and then head command will be applied to the data so that it will print first 10 lines of the sorted data. Field separator. FS is used to set the input field separator. It specifies how the data in the file is separated and it could be separated by space or hyphen or semicolon. As you can see in this input, the fields name, age and place are separated by semicolon. In this case, it is semicolon. It could also be a space or hyphen. For this input data, we can specify the field separator as semicolon. Sort command. Sort command is used to arrange the records in a particular order. By default, it sorts the record in ascending order. We can also specify the sorting order or the column by which the records are supposed to be sorted by using options. The important ones are listed below. Hyphen R. It is used to sort the records in descending order, that is in the reverse order. Hyphen N. It is used to specify that the column contains numeric data. Hyphen NR. It is used to sort the numeric data in reverse order. Hyphen K. It is used to specify the column number based on which the data has to be sorted. Head command. Head command is used to display the initial records of the data. By default, it displays the first 10 lines of the input data or the input file. We can specify the number of rows or lines to be printed using hyphen n option. For example, you can see here, this command will print the first five lines of the file named names.txt. Tail command. Tail command is used to display the last records. That is, by default, it displays last 10 lines. Similar to head command, we can specify the number of lines to be displayed. For example, this command tail hyphen five names.txt will print the last five lines of the file names.txt. If you like this video, please consider subscribing this channel and thank you for watching this video.